Okay, so if you remember the piece that we're working on called Something by the Shore by Vaughn Williams. Oh, <gasps> yes! Just as the tide was flowing, nothing about the shore. <laughs> um, there's a, we have that little piece right towards on the next to last page that is meant for us to sound like a river. So, and a lot of times in music, when you're singing a bunch of different notes on one syllable, it's called a melisma. Um, and that can often seem kind of confusing, especially if you're singing only one sound. Just like that. So, somebody tell me, how can, ignoring what's below here, don't look at what's here, look at what's here, how can we break this down to learn it easier? Note by note. Note by note. So we learn this note, then this note, then this note, then this note, then this note. Yes. Four notes at a time. No, one note at a time. Two. Two. I so maybe two. Maybe two. Two notes at a time? No. I have this proposition. Why don't we learn it, take a me each measure and break it down in half? So why don't we learn going from this note to this note? We learn how to go from this note to this note, and then this note to this note, and so on and so forth. <coughs> so can we just try that on the words? Uh, da. And you're an octave. This will be our quarter note. Sing it as half notes. Go. Just sing the... That's alright. We're just singing the circle of green notes. Oh. As half notes. Yeah. It makes sense if I said that. Ready? One, two, ready, go. conceptualize when you're looking at the piece of music like, oh, we're just going, we're leading to this note by going up a step, or we're going from, going from this note to this <laughs> note just by one step, or we're going from this note to this note just by a step. So, let's try this. Let's try singing just this measure on da, and say the word D, starting here, and continue the da for the entire measure. Does that make sense? 